Are you ready? Oh yeah! Strap yourselves in for the Gaming Hub. With your host, Tyler. You can't handle the truth. Graham. The force is strong. And Steven. You cannot be serious! Let's get started. Hey everybody and welcome into the Gaming Hub. This is episode number 110. I'm your host Tyler saying thank you so much for joining us. And with me as always are our two co-hosts. Let's start with Graham. Graham, how are you? What uh, Did you get a chance to play anything this week? Yes, I did because we had an intense heat wave going through southern Ontario. and There, there was pretty much an intense heat wave going through western Earth. Yeah, pretty so... much. <laughs> so to avoid that, I stayed in my nice air-conditioned apartment, and I played lots of games. I um, actually played the awesome adventures of Captain Spirit. How was uh, it? It was it was fun. I quite enjoyed it. It's not really long, which obviously can be expected because it's like mm-hmm. a prologue. But it kind of made me wonder about um, oh, <laughs> what's the other one's called? I'm drawing a blank right now. Oh. Um... Right, so am I. <laughs> Are you talking about Life is Strange? Yes, Life, yes, is strange. Life is Strange. I kept wanting to say something else, but I knew that yeah, wasn't so it. Yeah, so it's kind of getting me excited for that, but I did enjoy it. Um, I definitely recommend somebody to play through it. It's, uh, it's a story-driven game. It might not be for a lot of people, but I quite enjoyed it. And another game I played was A Way Out. Uh, this game was sitting on my Games to Be Played list for a long time. And Mm -hmm. I actually convinced my roommate to play it couch co-op. And that game is was super fun. Story was great. I'm not gonna get into any details about spoiling it. Yeah. But it was lots of fun and uh it's also available online. So if anybody's out there looking for a game to play with a friend, whether it's couch co op or online, I would say that one. It's really story driven and lots of fun to play. Yeah. And also, I uh, we played a little bit of Minecraft. Uh, for some reason, I jumped in on that, and uh, it's fun. It kind of reminded me of, like playing Lego and stuff like that, where basically you just do whatever the hell you want. And if you play with other people, you, you don't have to be together doing your own thing. You just go do whatever, and they're doing whatever, and lots of fun. So, yeah, with that heat, I was staying well hydrated and played lots of video games. How about you guys? So, so for some reason, Graham, you played Minecraft. I wonder if we'll get to that reason. <laughs> we might. <laughs> okay. We will. <laughs> so, good. Uh, I think A Way Out, too, is is a game where you can, if you, if you purchased it, like a friend of yours that you're friends with online, can also come in and play it without owning the game, correct? I'm, oh, yes. That yeah. is true. So that's cool, and that's a really cool way to kind of get people into that game because I know that was sort of a barrier at first for a lot of people. Like, well, what if both people don't buy it? Well, it doesn't matter. We can still play. So that's cool. And Steven, how are you? What would you play? Uh, I'm good. I was recovering from a, a tournament I had last uh, weekend throughout the week because it was also mm-hmm. really hot, and it got to like 112 degrees yesterday. That was not used in, to that here in, in California. In Southern California, yeah. I know. Um so, you know, I played a couple games. I played Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. I'm still working through that. Uh, it's just such a chore. It's it's nowhere near as good as the first one, and it just makes me want to get to the second one. But I, I, am, I am going to beat it for the first time ever. I've never beaten Chain of Memories because I just get so, so, so sick of it. Um, but also, I, I've played some Minecraft recently, um, and I, I'm just waiting for, for uh, Octopath Traveler that comes out next week. I've, I've been looking forward to that game for, for a little mm-hmm. bit. And, you know, I like JRPGs, so so that's what I'm... So I'm just cool. killing time until that game comes out. <laughs> All right. Sounds good. Well, uh, I've had a good week, too. Unlike you guys, it was really hot here. Uh, it was, like... Not as hot as it was in California, though, Steve. And I don't think it was as hot as it was in, like, where you live, either, in Canada, Graham. Yeah. Like, but oh. it was like mid nineties here and humid and it sucked. It was just brutal. And I can't wait to see my bill with the air conditioning being on like twenty four seven. So it's gonna be fantastic. Can't wait. But as far as what I played, uh, I played a few different things. Uh, I played some MLB the show. I played Minecraft for a little bit on what Thursday night? Guys, well, all three of us play played Minecraft. Yeah, I know. And I played something, Graham, that I know made you happy. 
And that was Super Mario Odyssey. And to do that, I had to find my Nintendo Switch, and I did. Yeah. I'm not happy because you played Super Mario Odyssey. I'm happy because you played your Nintendo Switch. <laughs> that you found it, you unabandoned it, and you actually picked it up and used it. Well, and I didn't abandon it. Didn't, it, it. It abandoned me, Graham. It abandoned you. Because it doesn't oh, have a virtual console. It yeah. put its own self in a box. and uh, No, it doesn't have a virtual console, so it abandoned me. Okay. Um, but it might come someday under some name we don't know. Yeah. You played it in <laughs> handheld, right? Yes, I did. And uh, you enjoyed it? <laughs> yeah, like I mean, I can definitely fine. see the the controls are definitely more limited. Playing it in like handheld mode or you know mobile mode or whatever, yeah. um, that you know there's things you can do with the Joy Cons in uh, you know just having them loose and playing through the dock that you can't do in handheld mode. So I felt like maybe I was missing out a little bit there, but I actually enjoyed the game and played for you know <gasps> a few hours. I know shocker, <laughs> I know, but I played for a few hours. I've already played Mario more than I played Zelda. So that's there's that, but that's okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll take, I'll pick my battles where I can get them. Yeah. This is a victory for you, Graham. Yes, it is a but, victory. Yeah. So I actually enjoyed it. it. It was fun. And, you know, I can't say it's going to get a lot of my, a large share of my playtime once, you know, the, the big games start coming out this fall, mm -hmm. but never know. I might be convinced to get games like Mario Party or uh, Super Smash Brothers. Never know. And but, when you decide to get these games, you'll know where your Nintendo Switch is. So I will. It'll be it'll be nice. And uh, yeah, I, it's been a while since I since I fired it up. I actually couldn't find the charger. I had to go buy a charging cord. So <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but uh, but I, that's all done and it's good and uh, I'm having a good time with it. So I, I can't say it's going to become my primary console because it won't. But it's still yeah. fun. How many? I don't time expect that. Yeah. All right. So, that's it for intros, everybody. Hi. Uh, we are we're uh, here every single week with you, and we'd love you to join our community and take part of that. And the best way to do that is to go over to Facebook and look up the Gaming Hub forums. Uh, hit join. We'll get you approved and into the community. You can also, when you're there, look at our link for Discord. Click on that. It'll take you right into our Discord channel, and you can take part in the conversation there. Uh, pretty lively chat going on and talking about a lot of different things. So, that's always fun. You can follow us on Twitter at TXH Gaming Hub and on Twitch, TXH Gaming Hub on Twitch. And uh, we're almost uh, to a milestone in followers, so that's pretty cool. We're uh, hoping to get a couple more here in the next couple days and hit that number. For a channel that we just started really paying attention to, you guys, what, like four months ago? Five? Yeah. Yeah, we grew up pretty quick, so happy about that. And thank you, everybody, who's joined. And if, uh, if you choose to... You know, sub to us on Twitch. We really appreciate that as well. There's a lot of stuff we want to be doing with the show heading forward in the future. Ways to grow the community and make this just an awesome experience for everybody. Uh, if you sub to us on Twitch, it helps us do that. So uh, we really appreciate that. We got a couple new ones this week, and that was awesome. So really appreciate all of that. By the way, if you're an Amazon Prime member, first of all, Prime Day is next week, which is pretty sweet. And second, if you're an Amazon Prime member, you get a free sub to use on Twitch every single month. And if you choose to use that on us, we'd really appreciate it. We, you know, thank you. Uh, if you don't choose to use it on us, use it on somebody. Support someone. And uh, help their channel grow. And, uh, you know, just make the community stronger. So, all right. Anything else we need to plug, guys? No. Nope. we go. Okay. We good. good. We good. All right. So let's head into the news of the week. And really, there's not a whole lot going on. We could sit here and talk for a while about how Todd Howard kind of called out Sony on crossplay. But I think, guys, the three of us are all in agreement that crossplay is something Sony's not going to do. No. Their arms are folded and they're like, no. <laughs> yeah, they are. I'm not doing it. <laughs> yeah, they just are. It's not going to happen. So. We could spend 10 minutes on that, but man, it, it's it's beating a dead horse over something we've talked about on two different episodes already, and I just don't feel like it's going to be productive. I think we're going to be saying the same things we've said before, again, and so we can do that. We can talk about how Dead Island 2 is still a thing, which was news to me. I'm, uh, I thought it was canceled. 
<laughs> so, which I think is why the developer, you know, felt need to mention yeah. that. Yeah. By yeah, the way, we're, we're still, still here. here. We're yeah. still here. Because <laughs> you're not the only one, I'm assuming. <laughs> I mean, it was one of the best game trailers at E3 uh, that I remember seeing. It was really cool, and everybody was really hyped for it. And then it had a release date, got delayed, and then it, they just stopped talking about it. And you know, this was E3 a few years ago, so. I think everybody just thought it was gone and it was canceled and apparently it's not. So it's still coming and and no, no indication of when that might actually happen, but it's still a thing. Uh, Oh, Fortnite. There's like a ton of Fortnite news. We could talk about that, but none of us plays a lot of Fortnite. And I feel like we would just kind of be talking But the one thing I mentioned is they had the missile launch this week, which was cool because those are unique events and it was a one time only thing. And, well, the cool thing about Fortnite is players tend to cooperate sometimes during these special events and work together. Like happened, what happened in one game where like 50 players or so work together to build like this huge ramp to stand on to watch. And the missile launched and then one guy, Steven, ruined it for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> one guy with a rocket launcher <laughs> fired on the structure and sent 49 players falling to their death in one shot which is the record for most kills uh, with one shot in the game. Most kills at one time. I would just say this guy was uh, smart. He was clever. He's like, uh, I'm going to take advantage of people thinking that they're all safe and no big deal and why they're watching a rocket. Bam! I'm going to take them all out. And I don't know if he was aiming for a record. He just thought, I'm going to get myself a lot of kills right now. And... I think he was aiming to improve his KDR, which is like either somewhere like 0.5 or 0.6 in the game. <laughs> so, and that's true. Like, that was a real thing. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, the, the, the guy kind of came under fire on the social medias, and I'm, I'm torn on it. Like, it's kind of a dick move, Steven, don't you think? But at the same time, like, hey, they're all standing there, and the the point of the game is to be the last one standing. What do you think? Yeah, it's it's a dick move, but it it, it is enjoyable to hear about it. Now, <laughs> it's not so enjoyable to be a part of it. No. Um, but, you know, that reminds me, like, I, I remember reading, like, a few lists from uh, Cracked.com, and they were, like, the top, like, six biggest dick moves in, like, gaming history or, you know, the top uh, five, like, uh, trolliest trolls in online gaming mm-hmm. or, or whatever. They had a few of them. And and that would be definitely on that list. Uh, it was it was a lot of stuff exactly like those situations. Um, really funny, interesting reads, <laughs> especially if you like video games, because you know it's it's not so fun to be a part of it, but it's it's kind of funny to read about it after or to see it, yeah. you know. Um, but that that is you know the trolley nature of online gaming is kind of what has me worried for. We've talked about it before, but like Fallout seventy six. And see it thieves in the past, and you know, you know what I mean. Yep. Like, yeah. oh, absolutely. These are exactly the things that like prove my point of how people are. Well, hopefully, people band together and go against the trolls. Take out the trolls. So, yeah. in Fallout seventy six, I'm speaking to whoever plays with me. We're gonna team up <laughs> and we're gonna take out the trolls because none of us want to be trolled. So, but yeah, I know that is one concern with these types of games, which sucks, but it's just an inevitable concern that you guys have to deal with. Oh, for yeah. sure. And I guess the difference is that, you know, the, see, like, Sea of Thieves was sort of built and designed in the spirit of cooperative play. And that's what Rare had visions of people doing, at least part of the time. And it turned out to not really be that much of that at all. Yeah. Whereas Fortnite is it's a battle royale game. It's Last Man Standing. And, you know, and they create these events. And it is cool to see a lot of people kind of work together just to experience it. And then as soon as it's over, they're all t- they'll all turn on each other, you know, which is fine. Yeah. But, yeah, to see that, like, I was torn on it. I was like, yeah, it's definitely a dick move. But, you know, hey, I'd be tempted if that was me. <laughs> so. Yeah. Well, could you imagine if you were playing Sea of Thieves and you had 10 treasure chests on your boat and you'd be just so worried that somebody's just going to come and just sink your boat. And you're like, I just got to get somewhere with these chests. Well, well that, that, that happened ahead. actually in our community. Like Blake posted in discord the other day. Um, he had a, you know, he, he showed a picture of his boat and he, he had something like four or 20 chests on your, sh- on his ship. 
Like, I would not have had the the nerve to, to, like, not go sell those immediately. Like, I got two, and I'm like, we're going to port and selling them. But yeah. he, he got 20, and he made 17,000 gold is what he what he said. And that's awesome. And I'm I'm happy yeah. he didn't get sunk because I would have been yeah. terrified of that. I know. Happening. Grant would not have been steering. No. <laughs> <laughs> get off my back. <laughs> Grant's like doing figure eights, like etch a sketch designs on the map, and yeah, it's great. It was evasive maneuvers, okay? okay. Yeah, for many ports. The rock was coming towards me. Okay. Yeah, and then it came towards you again when you, you know, when you when you completed the circle. Yeah. So anyway, we could talk about those new stories for forty five minutes, and I just don't think we need to. So instead, we're going to focus on kind of the plans we have for the next few months uh i think six months is what we'll look at as we continue to grow the show and it's not just going to be stuff that like content wise we really want to talk about community involvement stuff so this applies to everyone out there listening right now and we want to start with uh an announcement that would explain why graham was playing minecraft the other night i'm gonna turn over steve to take that away yeah um so Minecraft, uh, we have decided to start a realm. Um, and then for those of you that don't know, realm's like a like private server type of thing in which you can play um, you know, in one world or actually across multiple worlds in the realm um, with people across every platform except one. But we're not going <laughs> to talk about that. But no, if you're on the Switch, the PC, you know, your iOS, Android, Xbox, you can play Minecraft. Uh, with each other through this realm system. And so we created a realm. Uh, Graham and I have been building a couple things in the world that we have have built. Um, And we're opening that up to the community to come join us. There will be a Google Doc in Facebook and Discord, or a Google form, I mean, that you can fill out and, like, you know, tell us your gamer tag and all that stuff so we can invite you in if you're interested. But you have to join Facebook and Discord to have access to that. Uh, and if you want to come play with us, cause you can have up to 11 people in the world at one time, um, which isn't a lot, but that's at one time you can have, you can have, you know, as many people as you want in the, at, in the realm, but only yeah, 11 we can have can a thousand it. people on the roster. Yeah. Right. So, so, so if we get that and then we continuously like have someone building and we can make some awesome stuff and we would love to see that. And that's kind of where, where that's going. Uh, don't touch any... my creation. Yeah, so <laughs> all we ask is that if you make a commitment to just, you know, don't be don't be mean. <laughs> don't like wreck other people's stuff. You know, come in, work together. That's what it's designed to be. Because we talk about we want to create a cool gaming community for people to come in and not have to deal with that stuff. Because that's a turnoff for a lot of people. And it's a turnoff for a lot of people that are active in our community right now. So we want to kind of give you that option to come in and do that. And I think it'll be a lot of fun. Even I went and played it a little bit the other day. It's not really my type of game. Like those, you two guys are having more fun with it. But, I mean, we want to put it out there for everybody to, to take part in. I think it's a great type of game for people to kind of work together, get to know each other, and, you know, really build some really cool stuff. So that, uh, that form will be up on Facebook and Discord as soon as we're done recording this episode. So... When you hear it, uh, if you haven't joined yet, head on over and join and look for the form there and just fill it out, send it to us, and we'll send you the invite link. Simple as that, right? Yep. Graham, are you excited to play more Minecraft? I am excited, and what I'm mostly excited for, because my creative juices as far as building stuff is a little lacking, but I know people can make amazing things in Minecraft. Uh, that's the beauty of it. Basically, your imagination is your limit or your creativeness. So I'm just definitely excited to get in that world and see what people have created and just like walk around and kind of be in awe with it. And with me being an electrician, I I think I want to experiment with uh, I think it's called like redstone and like the switches and because yes. there's a lot of cool stuff you can do in there as well. And it kind of relates to what I do in real life. So I might try to mess around with that. I don't know how far I'll get into it, but I'm definitely excited. And like I said, it's open, so whatever I can come up with. So, And then I got people like mining and getting materials. So it, it's a fun process. I've been enjoying it, and I definitely look forward to see what the community can throw out there. Yeah. yeah. 
All right, so the second thing we're going to be doing, and we've talked about this one on the show before, but a Madden tournament. So we're going to be doing two Madden tournaments per year, and the first one is our preseason tournament. We'll be using, obviously, Madden 18, because 19 is not quite out yet, although it's coming soon. But 18, and we're going to be doing it primarily on the Xbox One, but if we get enough people that play on PlayStation that want to do it, at least eight, we'll put together a PlayStation tournament as well. Okay, so on the Xbox side, it's available on EA Access. So if you have that, you don't even have to buy the game if you don't own it. And you just want to come and kind of take part and see how you do and at least, you know, meet some of the people in the community, talk to them and all that stuff. Hey, come sign up. And we'll have a prize for the winner of each one. And here's the thing. We need at least eight. I'm super confident that's going to happen just based on the reaction that we've got from everybody. But as many people sign up, you're in. We'll make the bracket work. And the bracket might be a weird, weird shape by the end, but there's bracket generators out there that we can just plug the numbers into and make it happen. So that is something we're going to start in two weeks. So the weekend of, I think, July 21st, 22nd is going to be the beginning of that tournament, and we'll be posting the sign-up form here in the next few days at the latest next weekend to get signed up for that. So... We invite you to come in, and the the tournament will be done through Draft Champions. So it won't be a, uh, a thing where it's like everybody's playing with the Patriots or whatever team, right? And it's not going to be Ultimate Team, so it's not going to be like you're just, you know, busting open your starter pack because it's the first time you've ever played the game, and you're playing against somebody in our community who's played all year and has like a 92 overall team. That's not going to happen. So it'll be draft champions. Everybody seems going to be pretty equal within like one overall point of each other, depending on how you draft. But so it'll be pretty fair and pretty equal throughout. Steve, uh, are you excited to play Madden? No. Whoever <laughs> plays me has basically a bye week. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> if you're good at defense, you're, you're probably going to be uh, picking the ball off a few times. You know, I'm just going to say that. <laughs> so but, Steve, no, I'm are, excited. I'm excited. Are, are you just, the type of player, Steve, that like you drop back to pass, you, you have a receiver in mind, but you see he's covered, and you're like, don't throw to A, don't throw to A, don't throw to A, and then you press A. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Or <laughs> right. it's like I can get that ball in there. He'll be fine. <laughs> you know, triple coverage. Yep. I and need I get, Calvin Johnson because he could he could catch the ball in triple in triple coverage. He could. <laughs> I still remember NFL 2K5 when Terrell Owens was on the cover. And still, there's still a lot of people that say that's the best football game ever made. But Terrell Owens was, like, superhuman in that game. If you threw it within 20 yards of him, he turned into, like, Stretch Armstrong, and he's got the <laughs> ball. And it's just, it was ridiculous. But, yeah, I mean, that that was a really fun game. But you're, you're right, there are some players like that in Madden. Not quite to that degree, but there are. But yeah, I'll be playing. Steve will be playing. Graham, uh, Graham's not a big football guy. Yay, football. <laughs> Graham, how many NFL players do you think you could name? Uh, more than soccer players. <laughs> okay, true. <laughs> I could, I don't know how many I can name. Could you name I, 10? I would say I'd probably struggle for 10. Okay. Like past or current? <laughs> Graham, if, if I told you the cities of the teams or states, could you tell me the team name of every team? Hell no. <laughs> so Crazy that, you think I know that stuff. So that's Graham's football knowledge and background. Yes. Well, I wouldn't expect you to know that, Graham, because you have a league where like half your teams are named the Rough Riders. <laughs> so <laughs> how many teams are in the CFL now? Uh, like eight. I, I doubt. Yeah, I'd say that. like eight, eight to ten. Yeah. And two of them are the Rough Riders, right? Well, they got rid of one now. The only one is Rough Riders now. There's only one. What happened to the? What happened to the other one? Oh, maybe there's still two. I no, there's only two. They changed the name, I think. Oh, okay. I, I thought they would just have more expansion with that name. <laughs> so You're like what a great name we're gonna name our team that as well just yeah change the spelling just have one with a z on the end you know or something and yeah yeah it'd be fine but no graham's not a big uh a football guy so he probably won't be taking part in the madden tournament but i'll, graham, I'll be on that you will <laughs> be taking part in the tournament we're gonna do right after that 
Well, it, the next tournament we do after that. It won't be right after it. But, like, very first week of September, we're going to be doing what, Graham? We will be playing NHL 18, and it will be draft champions as well, just so we're all on an even playing field. But, yes, hockey, that's kind of my go-to. I've been playing hockey since NHL 94, uh, and I play hockey real life, and I watch hockey. So I'm, I'm a big hockey fan, and I know there's other big hockey fans out there, um, especially some of my Canadian brethren that are out there. But, yeah, that will be early September. And like I said, this is another game that is on EA Access. So if you guys have EA Access, you guys can pl- have that game for free. And if you don't have EA Access, this would be a great time to get EA Access because yeah. you will get a lot of these games that we are talking about. Mm-hmm. So, um, and who knows, you might enjoy it and be like, well, we're going to play NHL 19 because we will have a tournament for NHL 19 as well, but we'll give time for people to have the game and stuff like that. So yeah. by this way, we guarantee that people have the game who have EA access or they can get it relatively cheap. So yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to that. And as far as sports games, that's one where I'm a little more competitive. I know I'll probably still lose, but at least I'll know what I'm doing while I'm losing, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, so definitely invite everybody to jump in on that yeah. one. So Steve, I know you'll be in on that as well. So will I. Yes. Yeah. And it, it'll be fun watching Graham get eliminated in the first round of the <laughs> sport he's the biggest fan of. Yep. Pretty much. So, and for NHL 19, when that comes out, we're going to have an EASHL club for our community. So we've had some people in Discord talking about that, really looking forward to it. So we are going to do that. We're going to open that up to the community for EASHL. We're really, really hoping that they do what they did a few years ago and have where you can have more than one game rolling at the same time. I don't see that happening. Yeah, probably not. But, don't hold your breath. Yeah, but if they did, that'd be awesome for us, right? And But uh, we're going to have an ESHL club uh, for the community, so you are welcome to come and join in on that as well. Uh, just don't be, please don't be the type of person that just yells and screams constantly and, like, does all that stuff. That's no fun. You know, we... Uh, I mean, guys, we've had runs where we were a pretty good team, didn't we? Like, yes. Yeah. yeah. I mean, in, what, 17, we were a pretty dang good team. We were a top 1,000 team for a while. And, you know, we did very, very well. We were a Division One team pretty consistently. Last year, we, like, we dabbled in Division One, Stephen, for a little bit. Yes. <laughs> dabbled. Dabbled. Yeah. We got our foot wet and we're like, we're Once. not going swimming. Nope. Yeah. It was like it's way too it's cold. cold. Here, <laughs> <laughs> we were so streaky last year though. Like we'd basically have like a two week period where we couldn't do anything right, and then we'd have a two week period where we couldn't do anything wrong. And unfortunately every time the playoffs rolled around, it was just an epic disaster for us. So I'm hoping nineteen's better. Have we heard anything about a beta yet, Graham? No, I okay. constantly search for it, but nothing has come up yet. Okay. So I, I was going to actually look up what time he came up last year, and I'd be like, it's probably going to be at this time. Because mm-hmm. I don't see him not having a beta. That would yeah. be pretty disastrous, I think. Oh, I agree. But I will let the world know when I know the beta's coming out. Yep. All right. So, other thing we're going to be doing, and this will be the last sports thing we're talking about for a while. So, if you're out there, you're like, oh, they're just doing sports stuff. Sports, 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 sports. (laughs) We're not going to do just sports ball, everybody. We're going to do other stuff, too. So, but the last thing I want to talk about is when Madden 19 launches. We won't do the Madden 19 tournament until probably, like, playoff time. Give everybody a chance to get in. That's usually when it hits access anyway. But what we will be doing is an online franchise. So... We invite you to come take part in that. It's not going to be crazy like doing three, four games a week because a lot of people in our community have, you know, jobs and stuff like that and families and they can't commit that type of time. And it's hard getting two people lined up with busy schedules to play a game. So we'll probably do one to two games a week and just kind of follow the NFL schedule. So we'll probably start it right around early part of September when the NFL season starts. Let everybody play a little bit, pick up the game, and take off from there. So we'll be doing that as well. We'll have a sign-up form for that in the next few weeks as well. All right, Stephen, do you want to talk about some shooters? 
Yeah. Um, well, it's not just a shooter, but Red Dead 2. Okay. Uh, we'll have the online stuff, and we'll be doing a lot of trying to do some community events there. Um, hopefully, heists are a thing. Um, I think they will be. Um, and we'll, that way you can, you know, we can get a community events to, to do those, but hopefully if the game lets us, we can have like kind of private servers to be online. So like we can get like, you know, 20 of us in a game and don't have to worry about trolling and just kind of mess around or do something or, you know, maybe have a 10 on 10 battle or something, stuff like that. And on top of that, when battlefield five and call of duty, uh, come out, We'll have some community plays there, either playing, you know, multiplayer matches together or, or looking into maybe even creating a private server in Battlefield if we get enough people that want to do that. Uh, and then Tyler, uh, you know, or actually Graham. Graham is the biggest Rocket League fan. You want to you tell yeah. him about that? Well, yeah. Uh, again, not amazing at it, but I quite enjoy it. And um, we'll definitely be doing some Rocket League tournaments uh, you can definitely jump in and play together i'm not sure if we've hashed out because you could have like a solo and you could have two on two three and i even think there might be fours i'm not quite sure i think one certain mode might have fours you can play so four on four. yeah so four on four so we're definitely that's in the works we don't know exactly when but uh, we'll definitely be having some rocket league so people are not huge into sports games and stuff like that uh Another game that is inexpensive, so we're not expecting you guys to shell out a lot of money if you guys want to play these games. And this game also is cross-platform between the Switch and uh, the Xbox and PC. Yep. And I think you can go between PC and uh, PlayStation as well. So there's lots of uh, options for people to play. So I'm definitely looking forward to that game. That game is fun, too, and the games aren't too long, yeah. so... It's not like it's a big commitment, so we definitely look forward to people to jump on that game as well. Graham, I think you're selling short how much you really like that game. Like, you went through a period where you were playing Rocket League, like, every day, and that was recently. I, yes, I did. Uh, my roommate actually got me into it, and I was playing it a lot. Mm -hmm. And I was climbing the ranks pretty good, and then things started going bad. But I haven't played for a while now, so I feel like I'm a, I'm a little rusty, because I know people that are really competitive with this game, they stay on top of it. They play it, like, all the time. And you really have to, though. You have to keep those those skills honed if you want to stay in, like, Platinum 1 and Platinum 2. Because mm -hmm. it's it's pretty cutthroat if you start losing. Yeah. So Yeah, it is. I, I'll probably have to jump in on it a little while before the tournament just so I know that I'm not completely rusty. So I kind of uh, am a little bit competitive. But, yeah, no, definitely look forward to that. And let us know if you guys are excited for these games as well. And uh, maybe we can get a community started earlier and jump in on just to mess around and uh, get the rust off everyone else as well. Yep. Our, our goals for most of these events, whether they be community play events or tournaments is to make it easily accessible for everybody, not just from a point of standpoint of stand, uh, signing up and doing all that, but also making it games that are pretty easy to get your hands on. Right. And inexpensive. So if you're a PlayStation four player though, and you're part of the community and you're like, well, this sucks. Don't worry about it. If we get enough people with interest on the PS4 side, we'll absolutely do something there too. So don't feel like you're being shut out. It's just unfortunately, and this is kind of where we will talk about crossplay, I guess, it's much easier to do it on the Xbox side because if you're an Xbox player or a PC player or on Switch with games like Minecraft or Rocket League, this is really easy to do. So... Contact Sony if you're a PS4 player and be like, hey, I want crossplay. <laughs> this sucks. So, anyway, Graham, the, the last ones we're going to talk about game wise are from your precious. <laughs> My precious. <Yes>. My precious. <laughs> <laughs> the Switch. Uh, what do you got for us? Yes. Well, we know one of the biggest games coming up is Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Now, like I was talking about being competitive, I am not competitive in this game. I haven't played Super Smash Brothers since nineteen or nineteen. I was say nineteen sixty four, <laughs> since the Nintendo sixty four, because I went around nineteen sixty four. Just so you guys know, but yeah, Nintendo sixty four. And after watching it all on E three for the new one coming up, I'm pumped for it. I'm excited for it. 
And I know there's a big community out there that's excited for it. So we will have some Super Smash Brothers tournaments going on. Uh, we don't know the details about characters, which ones and stuff like that, but we'll definitely make it fair if you guys want to give some feedback. You people are more competitive for uh, Super Smash Brothers. We'll definitely uh, hash out the details. But I'm definitely looking forward to that one. And then another one, it's not really a tournament, but it's more of like hangout, fun to have a good time, stuff like that. And that is Mario Party, which will be coming out in October 5th. Um, it won't, like on day one, we might have some like that, but uh, as the year progresses, like we'll have more of them when we'll, more people will have a chance to get the game. But yeah, if you guys are just looking to have a good time, lay back, not be serious, and stuff like that. Uh, we'll have the, the op- you have the opportunity with Mario Party on Nintendo Switch, so hopefully we'll have enough uh, Switch owners and uh, players out there that want to jump in on these games. Uh, and with Super Smash Brothers, if it starts getting real competitive and stuff like that, I think I'm going to pick up that GameCube controller because I hear that is the best controller for playing Super Smash Brothers. So I don't know if anyone else out there wants to be competitive, they might need to pick up the GameCube controller as well. So uh, I know I will. I don't know about you two, because you guys will be playing this tournament, because I know you both own Nintendo Switch, and Tyler recently found his Nintendo Switch, so he was like, I don't know where it is. He can't use that excuse. Uh, Steven would be probably like, well, I'm not very good, so I'm just going to make up excuses that this controller's broken or something like that. But, That's uh, right. <laughs> but no, these guys are excited to play this, too. I know. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be input lag is, is the reason I, yeah, I'm not. Input yeah, you got to watch that trail. input lag. Yep. yep. The, the wheel of something. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, if there's games you guys want us to have events for, let us know. Uh, yeah. And do so through Facebook or Discord or in Twitch chat or whatever. If there's anything you're like, this this game would be awesome. You guys didn't mention it. Tell us. And well, if there's enough interest in it, we'll put it together. Go ahead, Graham. I'm going to interrupt you right there because yeah. there is another game that we did not mention. Uh, and that is Fallout 76. Because we were hoping ah, yes. to have a community to play that. And we kind of talked about it earlier, but we didn't talk about it now in our plans. So, yeah, like, uh, we, we don't know exactly how many people we have in the server and all the details and stuff like that. But Fallout 76, I will be playing it. It will be a community event. Uh, I know Nuka Wander would like to play it, providing is uh, <laughs> things are met. Um so yeah, we'll definitely be playing Fallout 76, and like Tyler said, if there's a game that we are forgetting about, and you're like, oh, this is a great game to play online, or like work together, maybe like Ark Survival, something like that, right? Just let us know, and if we can get enough people in the community, we can set something up for you guys. Uh, that's all I gotta say, Tyler. You can take it away. Yeah, I uh, I agree, and you know, Fallout 76 is a great one, so thanks for bringing that up, and you're welcome. You know, there's lots of other stuff out there, too. So... But yeah, there's there's differing degrees of seriousness around Fallout that uh, we'll have to make sure are met, I guess, for certain people. Yeah. But I, it was, it was great. But uh, <laughs> but anyway, yeah, we, there's lots of stuff that we want to do, and uh, we'll we'll get we'll get Stephen involved too. That Stephen, like you had a great idea a few months ago. You know things like um, Jackbox Party Pack, which is a little more laid back, right, and just kind of have a good time. So. There's stuff like that that we might do too. Yeah, yeah. Some B B Y O B community uh, events. Yeah, there you go. Because there's a couple of fun games like Town of Salem, which is free and browser games, or like uh, like basically like Draw Me, like Pictionary or whatever that mm-hmm. you can play for free just oh. on your browser. And you would laugh at, at my drawing creations. We laugh at everyone <laughs> because you're trying to use a computer mouse. But yeah. if you like chilling <laughs> out and like hanging out with us or whatever, that that is something we could totally do. Yep, for sure. All right. So on top of that, we just want to talk real briefly about what we want to do content-wise in the next six months as well. And really, guys, there, there's two things I want to hit on. If there's anything else you guys have too, you know, feel free to, to jump in. But one, uh, we talked about better YouTube content. And part of the reason that we haven't had a lot of, like, Let's Plays up on YouTube is we've been kind of focused on Twitch and a little bit more and we're going to become more so with that we we want to get more content up on twitch so we'll get a schedule kind of hammered out and and have more weekday stuff and they on the weeknights they might not be six hour streams but there'll be something right 
and we'll we'll get some interaction with the community and then on weekends too and all that type of thing uh, with YouTube, we want to do different types of videos. We don't just want to do like, you know, we're just going to play through an hour of a game. There might still be some of that too. But we want to do things like, you know, top tens or top items of the week or things like that. So if you have ideas, stuff you would like to see us do there, let us know. Uh, let us know on Facebook or Discord or Twitter or whatever. Or, or on YouTube on comments and any of the videos that are up there now. Including the one for this episode. Let us know. And we'll look into whether or not we can do that. So that's one. And then the other is, and this is more the six month end of the six month window, but we'd like to start doing video uh, for the podcast. And here's the thing though, we could do video today, but we don't just want to have like three random boxes on the screen with kind of crappy video and have it be the type where you hear like Graham start talking and then three seconds later you see his lips start to move on the <laughs> screen. <laughs> There's other shows that do stuff like that. We don't want to be that. When we do it, we want it to be good. And we, we want to get a little bit better equipment and stuff like that to be able to do that. So uh, if you'd like to help accelerate that, uh, if you choose to, no, no you know pressure, but if you choose to help support that, hey, head on over to Patreon patreon.com slash gaming hub uh we did get a new uh patron this week brandon we really uh thank you appreciate it more than you know so uh thank you for that and thank you to everybody who has taken part in our patreon thank you but yeah we, we really do appreciate it but that uh that really helps us with things like that and being able to create more cool content for you guys so anything on those things guys or uh anything else you can think of no. Uh, no, no, I really can't okay. think of it. I, I'd like to personally thank you, everyone who contributed as well. We definitely appreciate it, and we are uh, using it to make it a better, uh, better experience for you guys. And yeah, no, and any ideas you guys have, like any like little comments or suggestions, we are definitely open to it. Like I said, we're a community, so we're we're building this together, and we appreciate everything you guys uh, help us with for sure. Yep. And not just Patreon, but also Twitch, right? All the yes, people yes, that suck yes. to us on Twitch, we really appreciate that. Even so. if it's just constructive criticism over <laughs> yeah. monetary, like it's still, it's got a value to us, so yep. we definitely appreciate it. We, we absolutely do. So, And we respond to everybody, right? So yes. we, we make a point to do that. Uh, we we, we want to be known for interacting with our community, and we want to be known as somebody who's, you know, we're going to be involved. And... You know, we, we want to continue doing that. We've done that so far. We're going to continue doing it going forward. So, all right. With that, I think that wraps up this segment, guys. And I think we should head into releases for the week. So, let's start with Xbox. And this week on Xbox, there's quite a bit coming out, actually. But we'll just hit on three of them here. Hotel Transylvania 3, Monsters Overboard on the 10th. Also on the 10th, Defiance 2050. And on the 13th, you can pick up Earthfall. And then Games of Gold, you just got a few days left to pick up Smite. Uh, you can get that through the 15th. Um, Virtual Fighter 5 Final Showdown on the 360 until the 15th. And then Assault Android Cactus <clears throat> throughout the entire month of July. So that is your Games of Gold and new releases for the Xbox for this coming week. Uh, Steve, what do you got for PlayStation for us? All right, PlayStation, a couple of games are the same. Hotel Transylvania 3 and Defiance 2050 on the 10th. And then also Insane Robots on the 10th. And then for your PS Plus games, you got Heavy Rain and Absolver until the end of the month. Graham, what about on Nintendo? Okay, I think we've mentioned this for all three systems, uh, including Nintendo, which will have Hotel Transylvania 3, Monsters Overboard, which also will be on July 10th. And then to finish it off, we have two big titles. I know Steven is a big fan of this one. He mentioned it earlier. And that is Octopath Traveler, and owners of Nintendo Switch will be able to play that game on July 13th, Friday the 13th to be exact. And also on Friday the 13th, uh, Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. Now this is a Wii U port, but apparently it done really well on the Wii U, and because the Wii U uh, didn't sell that well, a lot of people missed out on that one. So I think uh, a lot of Nintendo Switch owners will be picking this up just to see what it was all about and i think personally i think i might try this one as well so like i said that one is uh july 13th uh 
so yeah check them out that that's that's it for me for nintendo that's all through all right oh that's right no free games that's right no oh, oh. <laughs> no free games but when the uh, when the announced our online service i will have uh free games to announce okay sounds good steve what do we got for questions all right, questions. Uh, first one, Brian Richland asks, who is on your Mount Rushmore of video game characters? I'll go first. Okay. Um, so Mario as one, obviously. Uh, I put Master Chief on there. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, the other two are hard now. <laughs> <laughs> um, shoot. You know, probably Link as well. He, he, and and maybe Sonic. We haven't seen a lot of Sonic in a long time, but it, it's like the history of it, and Sonic was always a popular character. So th- those are my four. Okay. So mine's going to be really similar to yours, Stephen. Um, Mario and Master Chief for sure. Uh, even though I don't necessarily... Like, I don't personally enjoy the series, but I get how important it is. So Link would be on mine as well. And then the last one, I'm going to go way, way back because I get, like, it's it's not a huge thing today. But it had its time where it was huge for video games in general and moved the industry forward. And that's uh, Pac-Man. Ah, uh, there you go. That's good. Uh, that's a good answer. Yep. Graham. Well, uh, for me, let's see. I will have uh, the... Fallout uh, Boy, and I would have Link, and I would have Mario, and I did have the fourth one in mind, but now I forgot it. Uh, sure, let's do a Lara Croft. That's probably uh, four of my bigger franchises, so that would be my four. Okay, sounds good. What else we got? All right, next question um, from Lyric Gilbert asks, do you think PlayStation will ever make a new version of the Vita to compete with the Switch? I I don't know, man. I feel like they're really cautious about it now. Because they've kind of almost pretended that the Vita isn't even real anymore. Like, it, they've totally backed away from it. They never talk about it. I, I think they've been bitten a couple times on that. Uh, if anybody does it, it's going to be Xbox, I think. as they Because they kind of hinted at they're looking at different ways for players to play. So, not just through console, but through streaming and mobile devices and all that stuff, and I could see a handheld being in there. That's that's my take. What about you guys? Yeah. yeah first, I, oh, go ahead, Steven. I was going to say, I, uh, I don't think it'll be a new version of the Vita, but I could see PlayStation, maybe with the PS5, doing something like the Switch, where mm-hmm. you can you can have an extra, like, um, like thing. Yeah, peripheral to uh, play your PlayStation games, like remote play uh, outside, like, you know, in a handheld mode. But I don't think it's like going to be a, a, a specific console like the 3DS. I think it'll be a hybrid mm-hmm. type thing. Okay. Yeah, I was going to kind of agree with that as well. Like, I don't think the Vita can compete with the Switch. I think the Vita would compete with the 3DS. And, yeah, I think they would have to make a hybrid console. Like, uh, they couldn't make a handheld to compete with the Switch. I think it would have to be like a hybrid. So, um, yeah, I don't know if they would like the vita is it's still there but it's not getting the support so uh, maybe they will step up their game and try to compete with the 3ds but i don't think it's going to compete with the switch yep so let me ask this guys Uh, so steven if if sony does that with a ps5 and i think that's you know really possible can they win on price like they did last time um, they can if Xbox does it as well, which I think maybe kind of hinted at. Um, I, I don't know if they can do it for four hundred dollars though. You know I what mean, I mean? That's, like, yeah, that's true. I, I wonder because that little like trailer during E three Xbox had had like a dude playing. I think it was Forza on like a phone. Yeah. Type screen. Um. So. I have a feeling they could if they if they do it as an extra peripheral that you don't need, only if you want. Because yeah. like like with the Switch, I've never played it undocked. I mean, I, okay. I know that there are a lot of people that do play it undocked, and there's some people that play it almost exclusively undocked. But to me, I prefer playing on TV, and I don't have a lifestyle where I play games out and about. 
sure. I almost exclusively only play in one room. So I would probably not pick up the the device that allows you to play in public. So I think they could, you know, have the console for 400 and then have the extra device for another 100 and 150 for the people that want it. Okay. And then eventually do a bundled deal, like, you know, three years in, you know, you know yeah. price drop type of thing. For sure. I, I would say if, if the device is capable of that, it's going to be more than 100 for sure. I would well, say yeah, around the 200, 200 mark. 200 bucks. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it depends what it is, but yeah. I, I almost feel like it would be, if, if they bundled it as a mandatory accessory... That would be making the same mistake Xbox made with the Connect, with the Xbox yeah. One. Yeah, yeah. You, you can't force people. No. I just, I think there's a lot of players out there like what Steven's talking about for himself. Like, they just like to play on their couch at home, you know? So, give people the option. If the options are awesome. And I think Xbox might go more through the, like, streaming route through the app than anything else. So, on your phone or tablet or whatever, without having a separate like Vita like thing for Xbox. They've always been really hesitant to do that. Yeah, so. like Xbox already does like it you got to be like uh nearby, but it does the second screen thing. So people yep. who have a tablet, they can use that as their screen as long as their console is like nearby or on the same network. So mm -hmm. the the door is definitely open for them to offer that, especially if if it's something like LTE or something, and like you can just share your network, that you can just um, kind of airplay with, for lack of better words. Mm -hmm. Sure. Okay. Steve, what else we got? All right. Uh, non gaming question, but Skylar asked, uh, what is the best kind of pizza out there? Okay. Well, I'll go first. So, you know, I've, I've recently, I, I've had it before. But I recently really discovered, like, Chicago Deep Dish um, after moving, and it's fantastic. So I have to go with that. Like, I learned a lesson early on. It was like, well, I'm going to order, you know, Chicago-style Deep Dish, and, you know, I'll get, like, a large because that's normally, you know, what I get from, like, Domino's or whatever, and that gets oh, me through a couple days. So no. filling. <laughs> yeah, I had, like, a piece and a half, and I was like, no more. You yeah. Know? So... It's but it's fantastic. It's phenomenal. But that's it for me. If you're if you're uh Skylar asking about toppings, I'm very uh I'm a like simplistic person when it comes to that. I don't like things like pineapple and stuff like that. Um give me like pepperoni sausage, maybe onion, stuff like that. How about you guys? Yeah, um if it's if it's like deep dish versus New York style, obviously deep dish is the only correct choice. Mm -hmm. Uh don't at me. Um <laughs> no, that's gonna <laughs> I think I like deep dish better. Some people argue it's not a pizza. Not technically anyways, but they're wrong. Um as far as toppings, I do like ham and pineapple pizza. The like salty sweet aspect is very good. Mm -hmm. Um but my favorite is actually like chicken, bacon and uh alfredo sauce instead of tomato sauce. That's my favorite. Yeah, it is good. Type of pizza. So it Graham. Ah, uh, best kind of pizza is almost any kind of pizza. Uh sometimes <laughs> you just need to switch up your pizzas. Um I know it's the 100 the year old question, do you put pineapple on pizza and be like no? I say pineapple can go on pizza and pineapple is great on pizza but i i love how that is the big debate whether it's pineapple or no pineapple on pizza but um basically i'm kind of if it's not a hawaiian like i'm more of like a meat lover so i like my bacon because i'm canadian god i love my bacon and uh and then your ground beef and your ham but yeah there's really no such thing as a bad pizza unless it's got some bad stuff on it that you don't want but normally mm -hmm. I, I go with different types of pizzas. Sometimes I change it up. Um, so, yeah. All what I, what I don't good. like, Graham, and Steven, you can come in and chime in on this too, is like the veggie pizza. Yes. Because to me, that's almost like saying, I'm going to go to McDonald's and I'm going to order like, you know, whatever number off the value meal, super size with a Diet Coke. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And I get some people are vegetarian. That's awesome. And But to me, like... If I'm going to eat a pizza, it's, you know, I've already made that decision <laughs> that isn't exactly healthy. So I like to have some, some meat on there. And 
one thing I did learn here is that there's there's a chain here that has a gluten free pizza where the crust is actually sausage. So there's no bread. Really? Like it's a, it's a sausage mm -hmm. crust then with cheese and the sauce and uh, and then more sausage and pepperoni. So there you go. All right. All right. What else? Uh, on, on the same the same line of non gaming thing, uh, Buddy Boy nine hundred nine asks, "What are your goals in life?" Hmm. That's a deep question. To, to be a millionaire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to to win the lottery, you know. Stuff yep. like that. Uh, no, Graham, what, what are your goals? Um, well, my goal is uh, I'm an electrician. I've, I'm fully licensed, but eventually I will open up my own company, and hopefully I have some great workers that make me money, and then they make money, and we do good. And then, then I can ease off physically working as much and then maybe uh, emphasize more towards the gaming aspect of things and... Uh, providing content to the community that would be pretty cool. awesome cool uh my goals are to see my minnesota teams one day win the championship um probably <laughs> not going to happen <laughs> i'll just take one honestly yeah i'd like and to not one. the links sorry um nothing against wnba it's just not my favorite um i i would even be only half excited if the timberwolves won but that's never going to happen anyway so it doesn't matter um, but yeah, if like the Twins, Vikings, or Wild could ever win a title, that'd be great. I know better than to say the Gophers could win a national championship in anything other than hockey. So that'd be great. Uh, as far as like personal, um, you know, career wise, I'm pretty happy right now where I'm at. I just want to continue to do more with that and continue to grow within that. Uh, as far as our show goes, I would like to see that continue to grow. And get to where we want to go. We have a stated goal of going to E3 next year and really changing the type of coverage that we bring around that and around everything going forward after that. And I'd like to see this continue to grow and grow and grow so we can spend more and more time on it and get to a point where potentially we could, uh, you know, do this closer to full time. But that's that's a, a down the road goal that I have for this. And it's something that we, we all work really hard for every single week. So, uh, Steve, what about you? Uh, yeah, my, my personal goals, um, I'm almost done with my bachelor's degree in uh, math, uh, but then I'm going to go get a teaching credential, hopefully, God willing, um, and that's that's my ultimate goal is be be a teacher, uh, so I'm looking forward to that. It's not super far off, but it's not close enough where, to where I would like it to be. Uh, but yeah, and then, uh, you know, as Tyler and Graham mentioned, you know, the podcast making it better and better and you know, going to these E3 events and making it maybe closer to a full-time job. Like that. Yeah. It's another goal. So, yeah. All right. All right. Do we have time Next. for one more or, or is that it? Uh, I think we have, we have time for uh, one more. Okay. Uh, Sandman 98857 asks, what's your favorite mini game? Ooh. Uh, I'm, you guys just mean like like would pinball? Would that be like no, a mini I, game? no, 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 I'd like within a like, game? Yeah, mini so game. Like in Gwent a... Oh, within Witcher okay, I understand. What and you're stuff saying. like that. So for me, it's the mini games within Red Dead, the original. Or Red yeah, Dead Redemption. Sorry. Was so much yeah, fun. that those were really fun, and I would get lost for hours in the game just playing that, you know, and be like, oh yeah, I was working on this. Like two hours later. Oh. So like that was really fun. Steve, how about you? Gwent for sure, hundred percent Gwent. Uh, yeah, was the best. I'd say Gwent <laughs> would be there. Another one too is the games in Fallout Four that where you collect the hollow tapes. Nope, because they had like the old old school like arcade games, and those games were was fun, man. I really enjoyed them. I don't know how many there were all together, and I don't think I had many. Maybe two, possibly three. And yeah, I like games like that where you just spend lots of time just messing around and stuff like that and uh there was another game that i was spoke earlier that i played with a friend and that had a mini game in it that was lots of fun all right yeah um like but kingdom hearts 3 is supposed to have a bunch of little mini games inside of it so those got me a little excited i hope they're good and there were uh, there were some cool things in some other games too like the the first game bag in the wolfenstein series 
had yeah. where you could go back in time, you know, and play in the old old levels and stuff. And then uh, one of the, I, Black Ops, was it? Black Ops 1 or 2 had a thing where there was like an arcade thing and you could go do that within the game. Uh, there, there's cool mini games within so many of the big games out there now. So yep. yeah, another one too, Tyler is uh, a game that you just were playing recently, mm-hmm. Super Mario Odyssey. What do mm-hmm. you think those little mini things where you go into like the pipe into like the yes. 2D world? And that's really fun, and that's one of the appealing things about that game to me. I that's not that. a mini game though. Yeah, I mean that it's part just... of the game. You have to do it. Yeah. Um, but it's kind of a nice variation on the game, right? Yeah. And yeah, so I get what you're, I get what you're getting at. All right. So that's going to do it for questions, everybody, and that's going to mean it's time for us to get out of here. So we thank you for uh, kind of staying with us through a, a different kind of episode this week. We'll, we'll be back next week with 111 with a normal episode, um, news willing, if, uh, <laughs> if that happens. So uh, otherwise, you know, please, uh, in our community, you know, throw out some discussion topics you'd like us to talk about. And, you know, we can incorporate that into the shows as well. But uh, this week, you know, we saw an opportunity to sort of lay out the community involvement stuff that we have coming. And we wanted to give everybody that's out there listening that hasn't yet, like, made the decision to come join the community. We want to give you a reason to do that. So please uh, head on over to Facebook, look up the Gaming Hub forums. When you're there, click on the Discord link. If you go to Twitch, TXH Gaming Hub, hit follow. Uh, there's links right underneath the screen where you watch video and Discord's one of them, click on that to join the Discord community. We'll have all the information and signups for all the events we talked about on this episode in both Facebook and Discord. So if you'd like to help support us, there's a couple ways you can do that. One is on Twitch, if you choose to sub to us there. Uh, If you use your Twitch Prime sub, uh, that is good for 30 days. So if you choose to re-up it with us, uh, we'd really appreciate that. So, but it is only good for 30 days. And then Patreon, uh, patreon.com slash gaming hub. And you can get some cool stuff there by uh, helping support us there. So we only need a couple more patrons at the $5 up level to trigger the full $60 game giveaway every month for those patrons. So with that, guys, anything else before we get out of here? No. Uh, All right. If there's a heat wave coming your way, stay hydrated and... Yeah. Stay inside, cool. play video games. This would be yes. a great time to uh, <laughs> take advantage of playing those video games. All right. That's going to do it for episode number 110 of the Gaming Hub. And we'll be back next week with 111. Uh, for Graham and Steve, I'm Tyler saying thank you so much for joining us. Everybody have a great week. Um, play some great games. Stay cool, and we'll talk to you soon. Take care, everyone. We'll see you online. Bye.